What's Edu cooking? You know what? Certain people in the comments always asking what's Egal cooking. Well, you know what? I'm gonna tell you guys something. Edu just sold Granite Jaka for 25 million euros. You know what? It's not bad. One year left on his contract, 30 years old, not bad. You know what? Edu just got the Declan Rice deal agreed for 105 million pounds. It's gonna be signed tomorrow, most likely. Not bad. It's coming down the line. We got the Kai Havertz deal over the line. I'm not going to lie. I don't know what he was doing there, but hopefully it works out. And we got Timber going through, coming uh, coming down the line. William Saliba is going to sign a new contract. Bukayo Saka signed a new contract. Gabriel Martinelli signed a new contract. Gabriel Magalhães signed a new contract. Ben White, Ramsdale, and Odegaard might be signing new contracts. What's Edu cooking? Because I think he's cooking up a Premier League title. Here we go. Yes, 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 people, do me a favor, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, let's get this show started. Today, we're going to be talking about a bunch of stuff, but first things first, we're going to make sure you guys do smash that like button, hit that subscribe button, and of course, if you want to become a channel member, you can do that also. Now, we are speaking a lot about transfer news, and this is going to be a quick upload, so I'm going to break down some stuff. First things first, uh, Kia, who will be on the show on Wednesday at 5.30, I'll be having Kia on the show for a live stream to discuss everything Arsenal related, so Please keep an eye out for that as Kia will be on the show. And earlier today, of course, I did have my man, Adrian Clark. So you can check out that stream also. But this is about Granite Xhaka. Granite Xhaka is edging closer and closer to a £25 million transfer to Bayer Leverkusen. The 30-year-old midfielder has 12 months remaining on his contract. And Edu has been able to sell a player for some actual cash. This is great news, ladies and gentlemen. I'm very happy about this transfer. I'm very happy that we're able to get this deal over the line. And this is step one on many other steps that we're trying to get transfers done and try to get some business sorted. I'm very happy with this news right now. Granit Xhaka will be making the move to Leverkusen as expected very, very soon. But yes, this is good news. I am happy. We should all be happy that Granit Xhaka is being sold for a decent amount of money. But of course, it is sad to see Granit Xhaka leave. But you know what? The contract will be sorted and everything will be sorted very, very soon. In other news, while we're talking about contracts being sorted and things being sorted, let me know how you guys feel about Granit Xhaka leaving. And if Granit Xhaka leaves, does that mean Thomas Partey will also be leaving? We're going to have to wait and see and find out what happens there. But in other news, um, it is reported that uh, there is no issue over William Saliba and Reese Nelson's contract talks. They will be finalized at, at some point this month. Uh, I'm not surprised that will be done very soon. Hopefully, we'll hear more about that as it goes at this moment in time. We don't know if there's going to be more news on that. One thing we do know is that Arsenal might be looking to get rid of uh, somebody who we signed last year. I don't think he, he was the best signing, but hey, uh, we look like we might be moving on Marquinhos. Marquinhos might not, might not be at Arsenal much longer. We're going to have to wait and see what happens there. It is also understood that Arsenal might be completing a double signing in the next 48 hours, reported uh, by many different journalists that are that Timber and Declan Rice are expected to have their, uh, their deals done permanently this week as Timber's uh, fee has been agreed with, uh, with Ajax and West Ham and Arsenal have agreed a fee on Declan Rice. I expect these two transfers to be done at some point this week. We're just waiting for the transfers. Hopefully tomorrow we get a full uh, a full announcement that Declan Rice's transfer has been completed and we no longer have to hear about all these other things, about other stuff and other things going on. Now we have heard about both Partey and Xhaka both leaving. So let's see what happens with Thomas Partey if he stays or if he goes. But at this moment in time, those two transfers are expected to be coming up soon. These are two transfers that we've been hearing that are going to be finalized very soon for a long, long time. Now, there is a little concern. There is a little concern because there was rumors that we were going to sign Romeo Lavia for the longest time. But it's now rumored that Liverpool are leading the race 
for Romeo Lavia as uh, Monday, they were able to sign Sabozlai and McAllister. Now they've turned their attention away from uh, Turam, but they're keen on signing Lavia. Lavia will cost around £50 million. Let's see what happens. Will he go to Arsenal? Will he go to Chelsea? Or will he end up at Liverpool Football Club? Personally, for me, if Thomas Partey stays, we don't necessarily need Lavia. But in the long term, if we were to have a Romeo Lavia over a Thomas Partey, it would be very beneficial to us in the long term. In the short term, keeping Thomas Partey might make sense. But I wouldn't be surprised if we move Thomas Partey on and we, Liverpool does end up signing Romeo Lavia, that we get somebody else. Let's wait and see what happens there, how things escalate. Personally, for me, I think Romeo Lavia at this moment in time is too early to predict where he's going to end up. But Liverpool do seem like they are the favourites at this moment in time to sign Romeo Lavia. Let's see what happens with that. Um, there's also news of uh, Gabby Vega. There's so many. There's so many things about this uh, Gabby Vega guy. I, I hear. I hear so many things about him every every day. Every day we hear different rumors about Gabby Vega and, and all these different transfer rumors about people. But one thing I will tell you is all these rumors. All these rumors around all these players. Like, let me just go to it. Gabby Vega, where is it? 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 It's somewhere here. I'm all, I'm so close, so close, so close, so close. Where is it? Here we go. So yeah, uh, midfielder Gabby Vega has been now linked to Liverpool, Newcastle, Arsenal, Manchester United. He's been linked to everyone, even Manchester City. I don't believe it. Don't get your hearts uh, sewed up on it. This week we'll get those two transfers over the line. Uh, Romeo Lavia, of course. Liverpool have been heavily interested in Romeo Lavia. You're gonna see a lot about that. Oh. It's been four years since we've since we've signed Gabriel Martinelli. That's a big big thing right there. Big up to him. Uh, we're always going to continue to hear reports about this uh, Turkish youngster. Um, oh, reports yesterday that Arsenal are into Laporte and Mbappe. I don't know about any of those. That's not going to happen. Would you guys sell Lokonga? Burnley are interested in buying Lokonga. I would sell him. Get get rid of him for like twelve mil. Um, and then what else is going on? Oh, Balogun, happy birthday to Balogun. Would you guys sell Balogun? Reports every single day talking about Balogun potentially leaving. I, I still believe that he might be headed on his way, but I just wanted to give credit to these two guys so far for the transfer window that we have had so far. Hopefully we can get more business done. At this moment in time, these two have had an absolute masterclass, in my opinion, with the incomings and outgoings. Uh, I know we haven't had too many outgoings yet, but we will. We are expected to have more outgoings in the future. Uh, happy retirement to Cesc Fabregas, and yet yeah, nothing else really going on today, ladies and gentlemen. So that's why I just kind of did this quick little video to tell you guys everything. The main thing is Granit Xhaka will be headed out for around 25 million euros. That's 21.5 million pounds. And of course, we're waiting for the Timber and Declan Rice news. There's not much going on right now, but as if there's more information, I will do another video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this little upload and make sure you do hit the like button. Leave a comment down below. Let me know what you guys think. And do you guys believe that Mikhail Arteta and Edu deserve a little bit more credit for this transfer window? Let me know what you guys think. I'm out of here, guys. If you watched up until this point of the video, you're an absolute legend. Smash that like button, hit that subscribe button, and I'm out of here, people.